Hi everyone. Hello, welcome to 50 Going On 30. I'm Linda. And I'm Julie. <laughs> and welcome back to a new episode of our fabulous vlog, 50 Going On 30. We have had such an outpouring of people that are really yes. enjoying us because many women of a certain age want to feel vibrant, want to have bloom, want to feel like feel youthful and involved and excited about their life. Exactly, and they want to maintain a youthful mindset. Mindset's okay? everything. Mindset is everything in life. So can't turn the clock back, so you got to keep a youthful mindset. Absolutely. So be sure to subscribe to us, like us, like us, follow us. 50 going on 30. And leave a comment. Oh, yes. We want to hear all your great Yeah. Comments. Tell us what you'd like us to do next. Absolutely. Well, today, Julie, we have a great important store. Okay. What are we doing? Tell the folks. Today, we're going to talk about how to look your best in photos. Yes. Very important. Very important. How to create a fabulous, flattering pose. Flattering poses to create beautiful photos, not only with a real camera, but also with your iPhone, your Android. There's certain ways you can pose and feel really good when you see your photos. Yes. And it's all about the details. So Julie, I'm gonna go into a little bit of detailing here. Now, before I begin, Julie is going to be my model, my favorite model. And we're gonna talk about some basic mistakes that most women make when they're posing. First thing I've got to talk about, oh, to begin, before I do all that, I'm a photographer. I've been a photographer over 30 years, love photography. I've done, I can't tell you how many actor headshots, celebrity editorials, etc. So many kids you've seen in so many oh, shows oh, yes. that you've loved over the past 20 years. And my, my website's down below, which you can connect with me there. But in the meantime, big mistake most women make I call it the arm smash. Now, this is the arm smash. When women pose, they smash their arm down and they pay no attention to it. So no matter how much a woman weighs, whatever her body type is, even a very thin woman, if she does that, it's gonna give her a very unattractive arm. Right. And it's also tensing up the shoulders. So the first thing you wanna do, you never wanna stand like this, okay, number one. but specifically with the arm smash if, even if you stand like this you don't want to smash not your my arm. favorite look okay you want to bring the arm back and down back and, and down. take the arm a little away from the body see how better much better that looks so in lieu of this we're going to do this and back okay now the second thing we're going to call it the red carpet pose if you notice julie celebrities when they stand at the red carpet they're never doing this no they have a whole kind of system about how they pose in front of what they call the step and repeat. I'm so, sure they're practicing all the time. Oh yeah, well they have their picture taken all the time. So basically what it is, tummy up and down, shoulders back. Suck it in. And you wanna bring your right foot forward. Right look foot down forward. Look down at your foot, right? And then turn like this. So, and then <laughs> even <laughs> lean. I what? always like to do a little lean in. So you're not even doing this. Most people pull away. You want to lean in, shoulder roll back and down. Okay. All right. The other thing I want Wait, to talk let me do it. All right, do that. Try okay, that. so right foot forward. Right. Lean in, shoulder right. roll. Down, no, 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 but keep your keep foot. Keep my foot like, like it 45 degrees? No, straight. Straight? Look at your big toe. Yes. Okay. All right. Sort of like a ballet pose, like sort of number two or whatever. Right, right, right. But you don't want to be so straight. You want to turn. Or even that you way. can even do a little back Ooh. and down. Exactly. Have fun. Some of the girls too, the young gals, they'll cross right leg over left and they stand and they hold their little purse. You can do that too. I if don't you want to look like I have to go to the bathroom. But they all do that though. It's oh, okay. amazing. And they smile, whatever. Very important. The other thing too, let's talk a little bit about wardrobe. Now as you can see, Julia's on this gorgeous necklace. We love it. Beautiful bright color, bright colors. Julie's always on me because she says I don't wear enough bright colors. Today I am wearing. She's wearing bright, bright colors because I love clothes and I love fashion. And right. my thought is, women who are a certain size, they always try to hide it by wearing black. black. 
black drains all the color from your face. Right. And it's boring. I mean, it's fine for a chilly winter day or whatever. Exactly. But all year, it's summer. It's warm outside. Wear a bright, cheerful color. And I mean, I'm wearing black pants. I'm always in black pants, but <laughs> I like black pants. But you wear a brighter color around your face yes. and a scarf. Very Brighten important. your lipstick. You know, change it up for the seasons. Which I is, like bright colors. So. Well, this is something we're going to talk about in a future video about makeup and different wardrobe choices. But to continue, so bright color. Now, details are very important. So what you want to do is you want to make sure, for example, what if Julie's necklace was like that? That would look bad, right? So you want to make sure your necklace, if you're in a group shot or even just with your fella or your gal pal, whoever you're with or your kids, you want to make sure that before that camera gets snapped, your details, no one's going to look out neat, for you. not scrunchy not and scrunch, wrinkly and whatever. Tummy in. Another thing. Keep that tummy in. Keep so important for your posture. That I know. shoulders back. And also Jane Fonda, her trick is to do, so instead of this, to do, take your hand and pretend like you're smashing your nose. Why? See how that straightens out your face? That's so in other important. words, if you're standing, stand straight for a minute. Say you're slumping. If you do that, look at how it pushes you right back. It's great. So you can do a little of that. Get into your... Deep your breath. vibe, deep breaths, feel good. Twist. The other thing too, arm away from your body. Practice in front of the mirror. Oh at God! Night. Like when you're when you're doing your routine at night, or you're fooling around, or whatever, you're just bored. You know, look. Practice your little poses so you're ready to rock once that camera gets going. So details are very important. As a matter of fact, Julie fixed me and she tied my shirt. <laughs> Julie's the the designer the fashion designer so she knew how to style me make sure everything is straight you, and beautiful you always have to primp before a photo that I, I know I don't know. slump straighten your clothes and shall we talk about baggy tops for a minute yes you hate baggy tops I hate baggy tops I mean I like to wear them for fun because they're cool in the air breezes but if you're having your picture taken it's no bueno so if you have on a loose baggy top, it is not hiding a multitude of sins. It's fitting right. you like a tent. So this is a, a fitted top because I think it makes you just look Looks more good. shapely. Yes. But if you're wearing a loose baggy top, pull it around you in the back and tuck it into the back of your pants. It would only take a second. It takes a second. I have such a cute Cinco de Mayo picture on a hundred degree day and I was wearing a loose cotton top but when it was photo time I scrunched it back smoothed it straight tucked it in the back of my shorts stood up straight put a prop in my hand I think I had a cocktail or I don't know what exactly. but um it was a really cute picture it is and it's on by the way our Instagram it's website <laughs> it is. our Instagram not our website 50 going on 30 you can find it there yes. follow us there follow a little, us a little plug Okay, so the other thing, so we figured out, like Julie tied me here, tummy in, even the real thin girls, like when I'm doing bikini photos mm -hmm. of the thin gals, the models that I shoot, I'll say to them, and they could have killer abs, tuck your stomach in, always tuck in. It tuck helps in, your posture. And, and then you stand no up smashed straight. arm, shoulders back, and the chin angle. Now this is key, okay? Oh, the chin most, angle. Most people, especially I see this on men more, They'll pull back when they think they're having their picture taken. Come forward. Look at your foot. Look at that right big toe and then tilt your head up. So I'm leaning, weight on my right, right foot. And you want to just tilt and find your good angle. And listen, there's angle. nothing there's nothing wrong with if you're in a group shot to say, wait a minute, I want to stand overhead. Here, don't be bashful. In other oh, words, I if agree you're 100%. Your, like I like this side better than I mean it depends. Like, do you know? So, it doesn't hurt to say to the person taking the photo, hey, can I move? I'm going to move. Take your time and space to pose, especially right. What's for family. What's the rush? Even if it's a candid, you're on a date, you know, you're, you're sitting in a chair. Even sitting in a chair, the most important thing, arm smash. Don't no do it. arm smash. Shoulder down and back. Do you a need a space Jane between Fonda your training. body and your arm. That's right. And see what I mean? And then, you know, you can put your hand on your hip. That's cute. If you feel so inclined to So do. inclined. I'm going to put a few of these notes 
in this, you know, in the show notes, I'll mention some things. Reminders. So re reminders so you can refer. But that is it, I think, for now. Okay. Julie, I'm trying to think. Is there anything All else? All right. Right foot. Look down your big toe. It's called the red carpet pose. Lean a little forward because we know our chin. Watch our ankles. We only want one of them to show. Right. <laughs> See how cute that is? That looks great. <laughs> We're going to do some still shots for our Insta in a minute here and put them on. Yeah, Good posture. In. Take a deep breath. Hold your stomach necklace. in. Stick your chin and, out. And feel yes. happy. You know what? Smile. Be Make happy. something happy. They, oh, give, it, give a look like you have a little secret if you want. Or be happy. Whatever you're feeling. Always important, as Audrey Hepburn says, what makes a woman beautiful? Smiling. Smiling. Makes a woman beautiful. It's easy. So on that note, this is Linda. And Julie. From 50 going on 30. 50 going, going on, on 30. 30. It's a mindset. Not a number. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.